well now I'm curious to know were there signs certain things that happened when you were younger or were there certain signs that came to uh, show I, I, you absolutely I mean even as a young kid I would be able to pass people in the street and feel good or positive energy from them I'd have visions even as a child I remember as a teenager all my friends when I would have a new boyfriend or girlfriend would come to me and say okay I want you to meet this person because I want to know if this is a good person for me. And I was literally never wrong. I would look at them and say, this person's not good for you, this person's good for you. So I should have had you around when I was picking out my boyfriends. Well, listen, maybe in the next <laughs> life I'll be around a bit earlier for you. But yeah, so in essence, it started at a pretty young age. And as I got older, the signs got stronger, the messages got stronger, and we are where we are today. So why don't we talk a little bit about what you do? Like, what exactly, so you're a shaman, you're a medium, yes. you're a clairvoyant. Yes, some people use the term psychic. psychic. Uh, I don't like the term psychic. For whatever reason, I find it, it gives people, it kind of has a negative connotation. So I prefer the term clairvoyant, which in essence means I'm able to see things, whether in the past, present, or the future, of course, with the help from, uh, from the angels. A uh, medium simply means that I'm able to speak to the deceased, to spirits that have passed on, uh, plus ghosts who are still, still around. And it's funny because a lot of people who do what I do are usually only able to do one, maybe two things. Okay. But I am able to do several. My gift is wide and big enough and powerful enough that I'm able to do all of the different things I do. Shaman, uh, basically I give treatments to help people who have physical ailments, sicknesses and problems. Okay. So my gift is, is, is wonderful because it allows me to do different things. I clear houses of spirits. I clear people who are possessed. And unlike what you see in the movies, there's a reason that, you know, the priest in the holy water never seems to work and the person always ends up dying because it takes someone like me who's connected to above to actually get a demon out of someone. And unfortunately, just wearing a little collar isn't enough to be connected to up above. Wow, those are some big statements made. There, are bit, there may be big statements, but the fact is a fact. Uh, and I always say when people ask me, what would God prefer? What are the angels like? Would they prefer someone who's religious? who wears the garb and who does all the things that the Bible tells them to do? Would they prefer someone who's not as religious but who's a good person, kind to others, and makes a difference in people's lives on a daily basis? And the answer will shock you. God would rather you not even look at the Bible and be a good person and help others. We're all here for a specific mission, but part of that mission is to help other people and be kind to, to others. Be kind. So I don't care if you're a priest, a rabbi, an imam, uh, a monk. It makes absolutely no difference to me. If you're not a good person, God isn't very happy with you. He'd much rather you not have the garb or the beard or the hat and be a good person. And that's fact. Big statement or not, it's fact. 